Namaste and warm welcome to everyone. We all live in a habitable planet, and we call it our home planet. However, life can exist and survive in extreme harsh conditions and scientists found that life can evolve from impossible conditions. Earth is a prime example for evolution of life in many forms. Have you ever thought that a form of life can exist on other planets? However, it is not being found yet, but evidences suggest that life may exist beyond our Earth. In search of water which is essential for life to evolve, we have reached to Pluto and yes, this dwarf planet may have liquid water beneath its surface. And, there could be potential life in it. A new study suggests that a region of Pluto thought to have originated from the eruption of ice volcanoes is distinct from other regions of the dwarf planet and the solar system. Pluto, a dwarf planet and the biggest object in the Kuiper belt, was photographed in great detail by NASA's New Horizons mission, which launched in 2006. Images of a region with two main mounds that scientists think are ice volcanoes are being looked at in a new analysis. The surface surrounding these mounds was probably formed by relatively recent activity of the ice volcanoes, or cryovolcanoes, according to the study's findings. The discovery suggests that liquid water, or something similar, may still be flowing or may have recently flowed beneath Pluto's surface, and that these volcanoes may still be active. Additionally, recent activity suggests that Pluto's interior is likely warmer than previously thought. The scientists claim that their work could even increase the likelihood that there is life beneath Pluto's surface given other recent research. Photographs of a region dominated by the Wright Mons and Picard Mons, two sizable mounds believed to be cryovolcanoes, were examined by the researchers. While Picard Mons is roughly 4 miles high and 150 miles wide, Wright Mons is only 2.5 to 3 miles high. The peaks of the alleged ice volcanoes also have extraordinarily deep depressions. The Wright Mons depression is nearly as deep as the mount itself. The area also has a distinctive, lumpy or hummocky appearance in many places, made up of undulating, rounded mounds. These two main mounds may have been formed over time by smaller, ice volcano-formed mounds, according to the researchers. There were no other regions on Pluto that resembled this one. This region of Pluto has fewer or no impact craters than other regions, which suggests that the surface was formed relatively recently in geological time. The lack of craters suggests that the region is only one or two billion years old, with some areas possibly being as young as 200 million years. Cryovolcanoes resemble volcanoes on Earth in some ways, because Pluto has a large portion of its surface covered in ice, and because its temperatures are well below the freezing point of water. This implies that liquid water, or something similar, that is at least partially fluid or mobile, would behave similarly to magma on Earth, rising to the surface following an eruption and solidifying or freezing. It is speculated that the substance might be more like ketchup or silly putty, and probably not coming up completely liquid, it's probably more like a slushy thing where you have some liquid and some ice. It might even be more dense ice that is still able to flow. Because there are glacier on Earth, we all know that ice can flow. Cryovolcanic activity on Pluto is likely driven by radiogenic heat produced by the decay of radioactive elements in the dwarf planet's interior, despite the fact that scientists don't fully understand how it might function. Pluto lacks plate tectonics, the intricate system of shifting continental crust that underlies geologic activity on Earth, but a similar phenomenon is one of the sources of heat in the Earth's interior. General tectonics, which can still produce features like faults in rock, but lacks tectonic plates, is the term used by scientists to describe geologic activity like that on Pluto. The shield volcanoes on Earth, which are low-profile volcanoes formed by the steady accumulation of lava flows into rounded structures, share some characteristics with Pluto's cryovolcanoes. However, unlike what scientists believe occurred on Pluto, shield volcanoes typically form from incredibly liquid lava. There is still a lot that is unknown about these features, their formation, and Pluto's cryovolcanism. 
Given other research that suggests Pluto was hot when it first formed and may still have a liquid ocean beneath its icy surface. The possibility of liquid water existing beneath the surface of Pluto raises the odds of life existing there from practically non-existent to slightly more plausible. Scientists believe it to be a little more promising and that there may be some heat and liquid, possibly liquid water, closer to the surface. However, there are still some significant obstacles for the poor microbes who want to live on Pluto. Do you know a comet has been found with an abundance of organic matter, which is essential for carbon-based life? You can watch the detailed video, which is showing above. If you feel that our video was interesting, you can appreciate us by liking and subscribing. Please hit the subscribe button for astronomy, cosmology and science updates. Thank you and have a great day.